data and visual analytics is emerging multidisciplinary area. It's defined as a science of analytical reasoning facilitated by advanced data analysis algorithms and interactive visual interfaces. In data and visual analytics, there are three important components, analytical reasoning, data representation and transformation, and visual representation and interaction. And what makes data and visual analytics powerful is all these three components work in integrative and uh, interactive way so that it can extract the best of human capability-based uh, reasoning and the computer and algorithm-based reasoning in making decisions and in extracting knowledge. For DAVA stands for Foundations of Data and Visual Analytics. Um, after the National Visualization and Analytics Center was chartered in 2004 by U.S. Department of Homeland Security, a joint effort by the National Science Foundation and the Department of Homeland Security created this FODAVA research initiative in 2008. FODAVA has two parts. Uh, there are FODAVA partners and there is FODAVA lead. The Georgia Institute of Technology as FODAVA lead institution will lead and coordinate efforts in research, education, and community building in foundations of data and visual analytics with other FODAVA partners. So FODAVA is really about creation of mathematical and computational foundation in data and visual analytics. So in data and visual analytics, there are some fundamental challenges, and these challenges are related to um, limitations that's offered in any data and visual analytics systems. And these limitations are speed and screen space. In data and visual analytics, visualization is not static. It is interactive. So that means we want to solve the problem fast. And also, the massiveness of data poses challenges. So even the back-end computation, we want to make it at least appear like it's happening fast, because you cannot afford to wait long sitting in front of the computer. And then the screen space, so the limitation is the pixel size, and we need to deal with massive scale and high dimensional data on this screen. So that means we want to have uh, effective data reduction method so that we represent only those data which conveys meaning. And also we want to do dimensional reduction, so high dimensional data sets are represented in two or three dimensional space that screen offers without losing much information. And we want to tackle these challenges by attacking uh, the problems and coming out with breakthrough ideas in uh, mathematical computational theory, algorithms, and the software. So in addition to these research impacts, uh, we expect that uh, with this FODAVA effort, we'll have um, integrated community built in data and visual analytics area. Through this research, we can connect the dots. We can link apparently unrelated uh, information like email exchanges, hotel reservations, and um, newspaper articles to detect the coordinated terrorist attack effort and then prevent it before the attack is launched. So this is, I think, a great opportunity for people doing uh, foundational research to have a direct impact on society. Earlier, this kind of data analysis was needed mostly in science and application domain. But now, um, its need is everywhere, like web page analysis and email analysis and homeland security applications and uh, biomedical informatics applications. So in the long run, we are establishing Georgia Tech's own center on massive data analysis and visual analytics. So through that center activity, we want to expand our, our research activities and the curriculum building. And also, we want to have the opportunity to facilitate collaboration with industry and involve uh, more domain experts on campus and elsewhere. Another powerful thing about this data and visual analytics is it's really try to uh, utilize, maximally utilize what human reasoning can offer and what computer and algorithm-based reasoning can offer. And I think by integrating that, we can really have 
the best possible solution in extracting knowledge and making the right decision applying that knowledge.